Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, today's broadcast. The second plenary session of the first convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Didia Markusyan. Conference on Turkish-Azerbaijan-Armenian Hatred. The U.S. Congressman was charged with receiving a bribe from Baku. The opinion of the Prosecutor General of Turkey on murder of Randing. The concert to the 150th anniversary of Komitas, another ticket to the Olympic Games. On June 2, the second plenary session of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place in an online format. It began with the anthem of the Republic of Western Armenia, Dartin Lao, and a minute of silence in memory of the victims of all times. The chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Nelly Harutsunyan, announced the beginning of the adoption of the agenda. The first part was dedicated to the candidates for the new ambassadorship who joined the ranks with 40 passing votes. The president of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Akabrahamian, presented the treatment of silver assigned and ratified by Western Armenia and the basis of the main implementation mechanism. It will also be presented to the deputies who must express their position on the issue. In the second part, which was dedicated to the presidency and the government, the president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, made the speech of welcome. She referred to the importance of the strategic problems of Western Armenia. The president of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Akabriamian, referred to the issues of protection of genetic resources of the United Nations, as well as the document adopted by the United Nations and ratified by several countries. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Vartan Simonian and Ambassador Plenipotentiary to Argentina Guillermo Caramanian spoke on behalf of the government. The second plenary session was summed up by Armen Akabriamian, who spoke about the type of Armenia, exceptional abilities, the powerful influence of the Armenian language and the uniqueness of our identity. Our compatriots of Western Armenia from Van were hosted in the Yerevan office of the Republic of Western Armenia. You can also follow the second plenary session of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia on our Facebook page. Parliamentary intervention by Lydia Markosyan at the session of June 2, 22, about the necessity of the Western Armenian state. Considering the situation that our people are living in, the absolute priority of each of us should be the strengthening of the state of Western Armenia through its structure. The Armenian nation had a state that was recognized by the Supreme Council of the Allied Powers in 1920 at the end of the First World War. Therefore, it is incomprehensible and inaccessible to celebrate May 28 as the anniversary of the Republic of Armenia, as the first republic when it was a declaration of sovereignty, a declaration with no value in international law, signed in Tiflis on May 13, which pardoned some Armenian regions. The first state to be recognized as independent was Armenia, Western Armenia, on December 29, 1917, by Russia. Celebrating May 28 is a series and more way than one, but the unacceptability and further strengthened when it turns out that on the one hand, members of Tashnak Tsutsul made this statement the determinant of the Western state of Armenia, which was under occupation. On June 4, 1918, the Turkish army, on the other hand, and the members of this same party were negotiating for the 12th thousand square kilometers of the Armenian Republic of Caucasus around the territory to transfer Zangezur, Artsakh, Lori region and half of Lake Sevan to Azerbaijan. Today in 2024, 106 years after that fact, the Batumi plan is distinguished as a peace plan that violates our territorial integrity and the right of our nation. We dispute it and we condemn it in the same way that Dandan Zovaravar did in its time. Western Armenia does not accept that illegal territories and are transferred to Azerbaijan and Turkey and that is why I ratify the law regarding our territories, the state of Western Armenia is uh, 106,000 square kilometers according to our constitution, of which I am the guarantor and I will protect our territorial integrity. There is no small or big Armenia. There is an Armenia recognized by international law, which is the Armenian of 1920, whose continuing state is Western Armenia. And there is only one date of independence, which is January 19. Our national reconstruction has been in effect since 2004, the day of the constitution of the National Council of Western Armenia in Shushi. Our national reconstruction has been in place since 2011 under the constitution of the government of Western Armenia. We have just celebrated the 11th anniversary of the formation of the parliament of Western Armenia and we are happy to include among the deputies those parliamentaries and deputies who raised the flag of Western Armenia in occupied Western Armenia. No one can alienate the Armenian nation from its national recognition on the strengthening on the state of structure.
Despite historical falsification, despite discrimination, despite racism, no one will be able to remove Armenians from the desire to become citizens of the Republic of Western Armenia. From the diaspora status to which the Armenian nation was deliberately subjected, the state of Western Armenia gives the descendants of all Armenians who survived the genocide against the Armenians the opportunity to become citizens of their state and defend their rights in their land. Due to our state structure, we were able to ratify the Treaty of Sivar on June 24, 2016, and in in about 20 days, we will celebrate the 8th anniversary of its ratification. Due to our state structure, we are restoring diplomatic ties with the state, and here I warmly thank the entire diplomatic corps of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia, which is engaged in the activities of Western Armenia. Due to our state structure, the Republic of Western Armenia establishes legal principles, and in particular the principle of nationality, which should regulate the definition of borders. We remember that the legal issue of border demarcation and demarcation with Azerbaijan is not the responsibility of the Republic of Armenia, but of the Republic of Western Armenia. Artsakh has been a part of Armenia since 1920, and the continuity is Western Armenia. At present, peace is possible only under the condition of respect for the international law, including, among other things, the implementation of Article 92 of the Treaty of Sivar, the withdrawal of Azerbaijan from its occupied territories and the release of Armenian prisoners in Azerbaijan. Peace cannot be based on crimes and genocide. The diplomatic conference in which the representatives of the state of Western Armenia just participated in Geneva clearly showed the importance of the protection of its intellectual property for its state. Having the status of indigenous people, the Armenians of Western Armenia also protected their genetic resources, traditional knowledge and cultural expressions. This 20-year negotiation has allowed the representatives of Western Armenia to publicize the unique richness of the heritage of Western Armenia and to contribute the signing of fair treaty regarding the rights of the indigenous people. Dear compatriots, we will continue to protect our rights and take ownership of our future history. Our reconstruction will be from one nation united around the state of Western Armenia. Thank you. A two-day conference was held at the Genocide Institute of Armenia, Turkish Azerbaijan Armenian Hatred, with the title Interdisciplinary Approaches. Although different studies have always talked about various manifestations of anti armenianism and Armenian hatred, according to Edith Agazoyan, the director of the Museum Institute, this is the first time that the subject has been discussed by different scientific disciplines. Before the start of the conference itself, the history and historical events of Turkish Azerbaijan violence, genocide, and genocidal acts were presented, which range from the violence against the Armenians of Zeytun and the surrounding area in the middle of 19th century. In genocide that took place in Artsakh in September 2023. Nineteen reports were made in two days, and after the speeches there was an exchange of ideas. It was also decided to pre prepare a bilingual newsletter based on the submitted reports to send to various Armenian and international structures and to show different aspects of Turkish-Azerbaijan-Armenian hatred with specific examples. The U.S. congressman and his wife have been charged with accepting a bribe of about $600,000 from Baku. This is evidenced by the guilty verdict of the Texas Federal Court. According to the case materials, the congressman and his wife from Baku State Oil and Gas Company Soccer in 2014, from December to 2021, in the period between November, they received money in the form of bribes, which was controlled by the government of Baku, and the money was transferred for the pro provision of consulting services. According to the statement of the U.S. Department of Justice in exchange for the money, the congressman illegally agreed to use his position to influence U.S. foreign policy in favor of Baku. The American lawmaker and his wife were charged with a number of articles. It found guilty they faced many years in prison. However, the court decided to release them on a, a big amount of money. The government share of the Pan Armenian Union condemns the congressman's materialistic approaches, directly blaming and holding Baku accountable for its unjust and hypocritical actions already seems out of date, because no crime committed in recent years, be it ethnic cleansing or arbitrary abduction, and has been pun punished with proper and necessary consequences. Therefore, similar attempts to spread one's own interest in America cannot and should not deserve the silence and indifference of the international community. 
As part of the trial of Randing, the editor in chief of August newspaper, who was killed in Constantinople, the opinion of the chief persecutor was presented to the court. According to the opinion read during the hearing, 22 years, 6 months to 40 years of imprisonment was requested for Bekir Yokus, the suspect in the case. He was accused of aiding and abetting murder and violating the constitution. On the same ground, the same punishment was demanded for Yavuz Garakaya, the suspect in the case. Live imprisonment with strict condition was demanded against the others. Dink's family lawyers asked for time to express their protest against the prosecutor's opinion. As a result, the court made a decision to maintain the previously adopted decision to keep the accused in custody. Hearings postponed from July 16 to 17. Adam Malikian, one of the world's best violinists, dedicated his Yerevan concert to the 155th anniversary of Komitas. Before the concert, the artist visited the Komitas Museum Institute, toured the museum, got acquainted with the exhibits. He admitted he thought he knew above Komitas' biography and music pretty well, but it turned out there is still a lot to learn. According to him, although Komitas has traveled a lot, his music is very Armenian and folk. On the stage with Malik Ander will be musicians with whom the violist has traveled a long way and performed on prestigious stages of the world. They are pianist Ivan Melon U. Luis, double basic Ivan Ruiz, Machado, drummer Georg Vispico Milan, guitarist Diane Abed. Boxer David Chaloyan, vice champion of the world, won a ticket to the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. He beat Ireland's Martin McDonough up to three and two points in the quarterfinals of the Olympic ranking tournament in Bangkok, ensuring his participation in the 43rd Summer Olympic. This was Armenia's 12th ticket. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.